So here we've got a demo showing use of the LED matrix as well as the rotary encoder. And the rotary encoder was pretty tricky to get right. I had several tried several different versions of the code, but ultimately went with one that uses a finite state machine to um, decode the the turnings of this thing and we have it counting up a variable and counting down on a counterclockwise turn and then also involving the switch press which will clear it to zero. Very handy for driving a menu or making certain selections or switching between modes and that's what I intend to use it in the final software to control between different animations or different displays of different information. And then also should have the uh, PID shown just for debugging purposes. And this driver works pretty well. It, it catches most um, turns. If you turn it too fast, it just kind of slows down. And But it's still counting forward, which is better than what it was doing. It was starting to count backwards when you turned it uh, forwards too quickly. This is passable. It'll work just fine for what it needs to do. If you go backwards, it kind of does the same thing, just slows down if you go too fast. But if you go at a reasonable pace, that's fine. And I think that's stemming from the the uh, RPI RGB LED matrix software from the H. Zeller on GitHub that using his polling inputs. I think it's maybe not polling the inputs fast enough to catch all of these quick turns, but it's good enough for what it, what it needs to do. And then we also have the power switch um, wired up to this and it responding to input from it. And when you press it, it will send the power down command to the Pi and end up shutting down this program and then it will put in the halt state and this is connected to the same pins that will wake it up as well from the halt state. So to demonstrate that it does um, take a bit to get this program to shut down but it is a Pi Zero so it's kind of slow in general and you'll see the uh, activity LED there finally turn off and then if we press it again you get it to come back and with enough time this program is set to s start on startup so this thing will act like a power switch on and off and then it could be disconnected when it's powered off if you need to move it. Ultimately, this will be hanging on a wall. So this will just be hanging out behind it. This, I'm thinking about hot gluing to the side. I think that'll work. And then this power switch could be dangling behind it. But as you see, it comes back. And yes, yeah, so I think that's about it in this demo. Thank you.